Hey everybody, uh, how about a little random play? Haven't random played in, in a while, so I got a few things, three things. I was going to do three separate videos, but eh, they're all going on the same one, uh, which of course would make it a random play, wouldn't it? Karate Boogaloo, they are from Australia. Uh, Hump Day Hymn, the name of the song. And after that, uh, Bread, Let Your Love Go. Uh, and after that, La la la, 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 um, from Turkey, Sol Sarita, Sarit, Sarait, Sarait, I'm not sure how that's pronounced, so it's just a little bit of this, a little bit of that, not much of nothing, something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue, something blue, so first of all, Karate Boogaloo, Hump Day, Okay, I was hoping it wouldn't be just <laughs> a bunch of talking. I'm kind of digging it. A very eclectic mix of jams. This kind of stuff will hook me right away. Totally digging it. That is an odd <laughs> rhythm change right there. I think it is. Uh, yeah, Karate Boogaloo. Uh, the uh, uh, Karate Boogaloo. Now, what the heck was the name of that? Uh, Karate Boogaloo is the name of the band. Karn the Karn the something. I was just reading it, and now, of course, I've since forgotten. Karn. Oh, Karn the Boogers. I don't know what all that means. I think it has a, a meaning of some sort to them. You know how that goes. Uh, the band itself has a certain, you know, something happened, and they've, you know latched onto some kind of goofy saying, I guess. Something to that effect. But I like it. Karate Boogaloo, Hump Day Hymn. They are from Australia, so check them out. Uh, the next is Bread. We all know Bread. But you know, I gotta say, uh, Bread gets a bad rap. You, you know, that they're you know, Bread, pooey. They're, they're quite good. And as a matter of fact, I've always really liked the song Guitar Man. 
It's a, it's one of their hits. It's one of their more popular songs, but it's a very good song. It's just really well made, well written, well played, well everything. It's just well, you know, well, well, well. But this one is go uh, not going to be that. We're going to play Let Your Love Go because this was random. This was random. I was just like pointing at things and saying, okay, that. So, uh, bread. The best of bread. Oh my goodness. <laughs> When I worked at the radio station, there was this girl. She would call constantly, wanting to hear the same uh, song from Bread. Can't remember what it was. But when you answered the phone, <laughs> first thing out of her mouth was, do you have any best of bread? <laughs> yes, yes we do. And what would you like to hear? That's like. Uh, that movie with Chris Farley and. I can't think of his name. It was the. Uh, they had to travel across the country. that more when this ends. Sounds like the monsters. Adam's family. Harpsichord. Who uses a harpsichord these days? Nobody. This sounds like one. Boom, boom. I always love that. Boom, boom, boom. What would you call that? Boom. Kind of a double beat on the drums, whatever that is. You know, all you drummers out there, you could tell me what I'm trying to tell me what I'm trying to say because I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it is. I know what I'm trying to say. Boom, boom, boom. When they when they do that, always like that for some reason. Boom. Uh, yeah, bread. Um, uh, that movie with, oh man, it was uh, the guy. They were, well, they were both from Saturday Night Live, but they were going across country because they were trying to get some business for the, the Chris Farley's father's factory. Uh, and they were in the car and they're driving, you know, in that convertible. Uh, they totally wreck. <laughs> Great movie. Um, and they were both like, you know, what do you want to hear on the radio? Well, I don't care. Back and forth. And then the next thing you know, you see them both listening to some carpenters and they're crying over the song and they're both, they know the lyrics and they're singing up a storm. Yeah, it's kind of like what you do with bread. Uh, that, uh, what do they call that? It's your secret uh, pleasure or your, what are that, what, what's that term? Yeah, or a secret pleasure or something like that. Some music that you, that you don't admit that you really like. Come on, it's bread. You know what it is. Okay, la la la. Sol Senite, Serite, S E R I T T E. They are from Turkey, as I've been told. The, the, the new pronunciation of, actually, not a new pronunciation of Turkey. That's the way it was always pronounced, but then it was changed in the uh, last century or so. Uh, but, but now they're trying to get it back and spelled uh, the way it used to be spelled. So, anyway, la la la. Sol Sarite. Eclectic, I tell you.
David Bowie sort of vibe, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. You know the way David Bowie sings sometimes. He gets very throaty about it. I don't think it's called throaty, but that's what I'll call it. or something like that. I've, for some reason, picked up on that word. Don't know what it means, but... Sounds like sonar. We're getting our keel pinged. Any of you, any of you Navy guys will know that what that means. Hey, you don't have to be Navy to know what that means, but it helps. Why am I liking this? Why aren't I complaining about the fact that it's repetitious? I don't know. I usually do. I you over and over again with this. Maybe it's just the, the singing going on that carries that, you know, repetition back there. And, and I don't think it was like that through the whole song, was it? At this point, I don't remember. It is, uh, you know, repeating itself. But that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll accept that. We'll, we'll let that slide. So there you have it, folks. Three songs, a very eclectic uh, combination of things. Uh, karate, Boogaloo, they are from Australia. Bread, they are from the U.S. La La La, they are from Turkey. Turkey, Turkey. So everybody make a point of not saying Turkey anymore. Turkey. And it's like T-U-R-K-I-Y-E, I think. I think I have that right. T-U-R-K-I-Y-E, Turkey. I love it. I have no problem with that. I mean, if somebody wants to change the name, or the, the pronunciation of their name of something, by all means, go for it. I'll, I'll, I'll jump on board that uh, train. All right, folks. Very cool. We will see you on the next one. <laughs>